Okay, bio time. It's it's actually do bios while eating toast and drinking hot chocolate. Anyways, Starly, the first one, it's really good. Checkered attack at speed. I'm fully evolved, it gets intimidate, which makes up for that low defense. You can learn close combat to take care of rocket steel types. It's actually a brilliant pick. Plus, Star Raptor also looks boss. Easily one of the best flying types in the game. Also, probably the best normal type. And, you know, it's got a good move pull. My recommended moves Brave Bird, Return, Close Combat, Stealing. That covers quite the spectrum, I have to admit. Except for Stealing, which pretty much gets everything Close Combat does, but it does have a chance of increasing your defense. Which is another way to let Starly take hits. And I dropped my mic. Anywho. Our next Pokemon is, in fact, Bidoof. It's only good as an HM slave. As you can see by the recommended moves, its stats are not good. Evolves into Bibero at level 15 and gets a water type. It's a pure normal type to start, and then when it evolves, it becomes part water type. It can learn six of the eight HMs. Cut, Rock Climb, Waterfall, Rock Smash, Strength, and Surf. However, I'd recommend teaching Cut, Rock Climb, Waterfall, and Rock Smash because... They're probably the worst moves battle-wise of the HMs. The only HMs that can't learn are flying defog. So like, you put together a B barrel with surf, waterfall, rock climb, and strength, with like a Skarmory, which I know you're not gonna have unless you're like super Skarmory, with cut, um, defog, fly, and rock smash. And you have all the HMs right there with two Pokemon. Anywho, our next Pokemon is Shinx. Shinx has a really good move pool, but it just does not have a good stat distribution at all. And yes, I see the fact that the circle is pointed slightly. The uh, images are the image that I get is a render, which is kind of annoying. And that was my insulin pump beeping. Um. And it has a black box around it, so I had to try and get rid of that as well as I could. Um, in case you can't read that first recommended move, it's Charge, Spark, Ice Fang, and Crunch. Charge powers up Spark, and also raises its low stat special defense. Um, Intimidate's pretty good as an ability, and a lot of its moves ca can cause status effects, like Ice Fang freezing and Spark paralyzing. And moves it has all three fangs which can allow flinching so it's actually not a bad pick I'll give it a 7 out of 10 and last and actually least is the worst Pokemon in the game Cricketot as you can see its stats suck even when you involve evolve it into Cricketune after wasting your time throw it in the trash where it belongs and I have no recommended moves because why the hell would you want to use it it's a piece of garbage I think it actually to be serious I think it actually evolves at like level 10 I'm not sure but hey that'll do it for this bio video I'll see you guys later